Hey guys, welcome to our review room reviewer tutorial video. This in this video we'll be showing you how uh, reviewers in the system can log in, review applicants' material, and then of course fill out score sheets or you know other information with respect to those applications. So in this case, uh, we'll be working with the Ralph K. Morris Foundation, and you can see that I've gone to RalphKMorris.myreviewroom.com. So of course I've landed at this page. I see some information that you know is generally available and I'll log in here on the right side. So I just put in my email and the password that I've been assigned or that I've created. And I'll hit sign in. And once I've signed in, you'll see I'll, I'll land on our review page here. And you can see as a reviewer, I can see a list of all the applicants that are assigned to me. So I can see this list of applicants over in the middle here. And I can see you know any instructions that the administrators have left for me. And then, of course, I can. what I can do is I can open up the reference material that's been submitted by these applicants. So whether they filled out an application form or uploaded a document, I'll be able to look at those things, download them, print them, and even view, at them, view them online. So I'll give you an example here. I'll open up this document. And you'll see once it's loaded, I'll see the completed application form for this particular applicant. In this case, I can see the application form that's been filled out, and I can highlight a section and make a comment with respect to that particular piece of reference material. So I can make a comment. I can say, for instance, this email address looks fake. And then I can choose to either make it privately or I can make it with public visibility so that other reviewers and my administrators can see these comments. And then when I save the comment, I can view other comments that have been made. And those comments can either be made anonymously or not. I can also print and download documents directly through here, and I can scroll up and down and nav navigate from page to page if I have a multi-page document. I'll go back to the main interface now, and I'll show you a couple of other interesting things that you can do. So of course we can download people's applications, we can print from here, we can report issues that we may encounter, and we can leave notes on an application as a whole. So we can either leave comments on specific parts of an application, so for instance the name or the email address, or we can leave notes on the application as a whole. For instance, this application uh, is outstanding. And then of course I'd be able to see which reviewer made which comment, or sorry, which note at which point in time. So if I hit see notes, I'll see that another reviewer named test user made a comment saying this application is stupendous 12 days ago. I can also click here to complete the score sheet. In other words, I can click here and I'll be presented with the ranking form for this particular applicant. And that ranking form is customized by the administrators of your program. So I can go through here, I can click all my answers, and then once I get to the bottom, I can either save and continue editing, or I can save and go back to that main dashboard I was looking at a second ago. And we'll go back here for a second, because I want to show you another way of, of looking at this information, because sometimes you might want to work side by side, or in other words, you, you might want to look at the document while you're filling out that ranking form with respect to the applicant's material. So what you can do is you can click on the applicant's name and it will open up that applicant's reference material on the left side with your ranking form over on the right side. So you can navigate through your ranking form, you can answer it while actually looking at the document on the left side. And you can switch through various parts of that document. So I can go to, for instance, to this other portion of the reference material called Upload Your Transcript in which the applicant has uploaded their, a copy of their transcript. And then I can go on the right side and complete my ranking as I'm going through these individual documents. And then of course I can leave additional comments and I can save and complete that form. Now the neat thing is now that I've completed this score sheet that we saw you know, a few seconds ago in that other interface, I can go back to my main summary. And once I've gone back here I can actually see the rank that I've left this applicant. So in this case I gave them, I believe it was 5 out of 5 on 7 different criteria. So that applicant got a 35 total. So once I've finished all my rankings, I can look through all of them and say, okay, you know what, maybe I should go back and change this one because maybe it wasn't exactly what I wanted to give them. I can also make small changes. So if you make a mistake or you rank the wrong applicant, you can go back and, and fix your answers. Or you can delete the entire ranking form and start fresh. You can also download and print your rankings at any time, or you can download all of them in one shot from here. Well guys, that completes your tutorial today. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to, to contact us at support at myreviewroom.com.